what we think we have here is a Delta track vehicle, part of the developmental program used as a precursor to the Avro Aero 1H scale models that were launched from Point Peter. It was found on the bottom of Lake Ontario, far off of Point Petrie. It's been sitting on the bottom of the lake for some 60 years. This is the first time we've had tangible evidence of something from this test program. We've never seen an object before or the equipment inside it because nobody's got one in their collections. So it's very precious. It's the first of its kind on land. The object in front of us was developed before the Avro Aero program developed an actual plane that could fly. So it was, it was a, a precursor to the planes being built. Uh, there were many kinds of test models from tiny ones launched in uh, uh, wind tunnels to larger ones like this that were fired off of booster rockets or other forms of uh, ballistic guns. They had to determine the behavioral properties of the wing shapes, the body shapes, in terms of developing something that would be efficient in terms of aerodynamic behavior and speed because they were trying to achieve a maximum speed. For the aero program that was over Mach 2, two times the speed of sound. There were six planes built, six or more and others you know, various states of construction, five of them actually flew. And then all of those, along with the sixth and the other ones, were all destroyed, ordered destroyed when the program was shut down. So really, we don't have any large tangible pieces other than a few that are maintained in some museum collections, such as here at Ingenium. And, but we don't have any from the early de developmental stages. The Arrow itself was, gonna, was a supersonic fighter. The, Earlier planes that did fly flew at least as high as Mach 1.8. The MK3 version was supposed to fly, I believe, up to Mach 2.4. We never got to see it fly those speeds because the Arenda engines never got put on the Arrows itself and the planes were destroyed and the program was shut down before it ever had a chance to prove itself above Mach 2. So that was the end of the program and all we have left are archival records and a few pieces and a few collections. Now we have this one, that's a definite lead up to the whole program, the first of the Delta Wings that we've seen come out of Lake Ontario, and we're very proud to have it here.